What's up guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mega Menu tutorial. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to create and style our Mega Tabs module. This is a cool module because it creates tabs in your WordPress default menu that when you hover displays a bunch of information. Very cool stuff. Now this video doesn't cover everything, so if you need more help, please check out the documentation at help.divienginecom or go ahead and contact our support team if you've got more in-depth questions. Ready? Let's go. Alright, so the first step in creating and styling your Megatabs module is to head over to the Mega Menu section and your Divi install. Now if you're not certain on how to create your own Mega Menu, please check out the other video tutorials that we've done on this exact topic. There, we'll take you step by step through creating your very own Mega Menu. And another important point to note here is that similar to the Mega Dropdown module, that the Mega Tabs module only works in a Mega Menu position using the default WordPress menu and not on a Mega Menu position using the tooltip, or as we call it, the pop-up position. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's get started with building our first Mega Tabs module. Go ahead and with your Mega Menu open, add a Mega Tabs module. Now once in there, you'll see a few different settings but the one that you want to focus on right now is adding new tabs. You can add as many tabs as you like. And what is super cool is that once you've got that tab added, you can go in and add any relevant text to that specific tab. Now this content that you create will appear to the right of the tab when the customer hovers over the tab name. Now when you're done, don't forget to save your work. Now another great feature of the Mega Tabs module is that you can super easily add links to your tabs. Look for the tab links section and add one link per Mega Tab starting from the top. For example, if you'd like the first tab to have a link, then add the URL into the first input field in the tab links section. Now you don't need to add a link for every tab in there. If you want to skip a link, just put a hash symbol in the link field. Similar to what I've done here on the screen right now. And now before you go dancing with excitement, make sure to hit the save button before you continue on. Now to style these mega tabs that you've created, you can utilize all the tools found right within Divi. It's one of the reasons why Divi Engine loves working with the Divi theme is because there are endless possibilities for your styling options. Now to learn more about the Divi styling methods, please check out the Elegant Themes documentation on the Divi theme. And that brings this video to a wrap. Thank you so much for watching guys and hopefully you found a lot of great information in here to help you better understand the Divi Mega Menu. If you have any further questions, please first check the documentation site at help.diviengine.com or if you have a more complex situation brewing, please contact our support team and somebody will get in touch with you as soon as possible. And with that, Divi Engine family, I'll see you guys in the next video.